Hello and welcome to a quick news video thing about version 0.21, so, right to it. The Space Center is being redone. The SPH and VAB are being updated along with the rest of it to look shiny fancy and new and stuff. There will also be an astronaut complex facility where you can manage your crew and recruit new Kerbals. When launching a vessel, you can choose which crew to assign and to which parts. This means that you can have more than one capsule or cockpit and crew them all. The advanced SAS capsules and SAS modules are all being changed. No longer will you have free torque from the capsules, but Advanced SAS will be integrated into them. This means that you'll need to put RCS systems, control surfaces, or SAS modules on your vessel to control their orientation. SAS modules will also require power, and the Advanced SAS works much better. No more wild oscillations breaking your craft apart or wasting all your RCS fuel in a matter of seconds. It's also pretty much safe to leave SAS on all the time now, as the Advanced SAS will let you change your orientation and lock on to a new heading without you having to toggle it. This also allows you to make changes on one axis while it will lock the other axes. Speaking of the Space Center again, no more placeholder terrain when you are selecting which building to go to. The game will now load in the actual terrain from Kerbin around the Space Center, meaning that the Space Center view is actually your Space Center, and loading times between the VAB, SVH, runway, and launch pad should be much quicker and smoother. And terrain? Well, Kerbin's terrain is getting a fresh coat along with pretty much every other planet. And the coolest part of this, procedurally generated craters. Harvester's been working on these for a little while now, and I must say they're looking great. Under the surface, the team has been working on things to prepare for adding career mode. There's a player progress tracking system being implemented, and they are continuing work on parts and part modules to open them up for more possibility both within the stock game and with mods. Of course, due to the changes in the terrain, along with a new format they are using for persistence, your previous saves will break. However, your craft files will be compatible. Just remember the changes with Advanced SAS and the SAS, though, because you may find yourself without control if you don't. Oh yes, and that flag in the SPH and VAB? That will change to match whichever flag you are using.